So now, what are the challenges that sisters are facing in our times? And how would we address those challenges? One of the biggest challenges I feel that the sisters face is that of modesty. We live in a time where it is actually discouraged to be modest and shy. In fact, if you lower your gaze or if you wear a hijab, it is actually a terrible thing to do. Now, how do we address this challenge? This is going to be something very big and I'm going to share a personal experience with you right now that just before I came to Australia, there was a newspaper article that was published and it, they also had like a, an online clipping to, to watch as well. It was an interview with 12 women who had abandoned hijab. They have taken it off. They felt that it held them back. They felt that, you know, it wasn't right for them. They felt as if they couldn't be who they wanted to be through the wearing of the hijab. So they took it off. And this newspaper reporter interviews these 12 women and they're all telling their stories of how they're still Muslim, but hijab is like oppressive towards them. So I was asked, you know, what are my comments on this article? And I thought to myself, subhanAllah, this is a trap. Because I know if I say that hijab is compulsory and women need to be modest, this reporter is going to take it and spread it all over the news. You know, in the Vedas, he's chauvinistic male trying to put women in prison. So I was like, I have no comment on this article. But I thought to myself, subhanAllah, only if there was like a female version of me, she could blast this newspaper reporter and destroy him. And she'd be free to do it. And the newspaper reporter couldn't say anything to her. But I was like, where are the sisters standing up at this time? So now with addressing modesty, I believe it is very important to understand what modesty actually means. Modesty means to refrain from displeasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the essence of modesty. And this is something that is required of both men and women. Modesty for the women, an element of it is the hijab. But the greater sign of modesty is the way that a woman conducts herself. Now a woman is not required to stay home and this is how she stays modest. But rather this means that when she interacts with the world, when she mingles with other people, she retains that modesty. It's not about flirting. It's not about, you know, uh, beautifying your voice. It's not about beautifying your looks. But rather it's about conducting yourself in a way that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is something that the sisters need to be very careful of. Because you'll notice that throughout time, things are actually getting worse from two angles. Angle number one, if you were to look at what's happening in fashion, it's crazy these days. That clothes are coming off bit by bit. And that is what fashion is meant to be. Their clothes are getting smaller and tighter and more revealing. And this is very dangerous for our sisters. Because when they go to school, when they go to work, they see that the other women are getting past them in, in their work fields. And it's because of their looks. They use, you know, sex as a weapon, as they say. And they're getting further. So shaitan tempts them and the sisters need to fight this temptation to fall into that trap. Continue wearing the hijab and know that ultimate success is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is something you have to be prepared for mentally. And the second test you'll see related to the hijab is the onslaught against Muslims. If you look at what now happened in France, believe me, my dear brothers and sisters, pretty soon it might start happening all over the world if we don't play a proactive role in the media, in the law, in legislation. Even in my own community, they've started a bill, meaning they're trying to pass a legislation that a woman cannot wear niqab. And niqab is just the beginning because trust me, hijab will come next. So we need Muslim women to voice their opinions and show how the hijab has empowered them and freed them and liberated them and is not a form of oppression. Dear sisters, I plead towards you that stand up and voice your opinions. Because if we as men try to do it, we are labeled. But if you as women do it, then this is where the true empowerment can take place.